All right, we're back in here. Uh, I wish I had some better news because uh, this video is probably going to come out uh, like the night before we were supposed to race. Uh, but obviously all this crap going on in um, in Victoria uh, now that we have a lockdown, uh, yeah, seven day lockdown. So that would have finished or that is going to finish uh, the night this video comes out, I think. So uh, yeah, it was... Uh, takes up too much time. Obviously this last weekend is critical for the event organizers and everyone to set up. They finish setting the stages up and yeah, make sure everything's good for racing. Uh, but obviously they can't do that. Uh, a lot of the guys are from Melbourne and they're not allowed to travel yeah, five Ks from home or whatever. So um, unfortunately they can't finish setting the race up. So they have pushed the race back two weeks uh, instead of the weekend before Queen's birthday, it's now the weekend after. So I think it's the 18th, 19th and 20th. Um, so it's a bit of a bummer because I was, yeah, this was sort of the last weekend I had. We're going to prepare everything. Uh, I was going to show you, yeah, everything that we do to prepare just before the race. Um, we've got scrutineering sheets and that. So I was going to run you through that, uh, which is yeah, pretty interesting. But that's not the case today. So that video can wait a couple of weeks. Um, but it's kind of, yeah, in a way, it's not a bad thing. Um, it just gives me an extra weekend to get the car ready and the wagons over there, which I'm not going to show you yet, but um, yeah, I'd, I'd obviously need time to time to finish that off before Queen's birthday. So it's not a bad thing, just means I don't have to push as hard. Um, but anyway, we still have to do some work. So today what we're going to do is I've got a few little jobs on the go, um, but the main one is you're going to pull the rear center out, pull the axles out, uh, inspect the axles, inspect the center, because uh, the locker keeps coming loose. It's an old style one. Um, so inspect that. And I've got to rebuild the four rear calipers. So the two brakes and the two cutting brakes. Um, which yeah, that should make the cutting brakes work really good. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. But that's probably the last major job I've got to do. Um, off the top of my head I don't really have a great deal else. The alternator still 24 volt alternator still being funny bugger. So I've got to sort that out. But yeah, that's on the go for today. Um, I was thinking, because it's kind of a boring video, I might, I've got some stockies over in the paddock, so I might do a burnout or something, maybe. I don't know, we'll see. Um, we'll see how the day progresses. But anyway, we'll get stuck into pulling this rear diff out. <laughs> center out um, one thing to look out for is this little spring that's from behind the axle seal um, that can come out when you're pulling the axle out or whatever um, if that springs not on the seal it doesn't create a good enough seal on the axle and then you end up with oil inside your bearings and then you wash the bearings out and I have collapsed one rear wheel bearing from doing that um, so keep an eye out for that if yeah, if you ever pull the rear axles out, it was on the inside of the, was in behind the seal there. So keep an eye out for that. And I'm glad I pulled it all out because I don't know if you'll see this in the camera. Might be a bit hard. The right end axle is actually twisted. So um, it's only a small twist, but any twist is no good um, because of the design of the axles where they neck down and go into the diff. Um, that's where they break. And if you've got a twisted axle, generally it's gonna break in the center um, and blow the center to bits, cost you a locker, cost you a set of gears. So that's why I do this pretty often. Um, axles out, it's not a big job. So yeah, I'm looking for an axle. Hopefully I'll get some spares. All right, I know I've um, showed you how to rebuild the front calipers, but I'm just doing the back. Thought I'd show you again, because the back's a little bit different. So there's a GQ recalipers, GU are a little bit different, but first thing, undo the one slide that you can get to. Then that should, that's seized up in there. Right, that's buggered, so it's got a little, Cap on the end here, 
that knocks off. All right, so try and knock this cap off. Just a little silver, silver cap there. Then we should be able to get something in there to punch that slide out. WD-40. A little bit of heat. Alright, now that's off, on this side this, this slide should come out, like that, that'll come out, pull this rubber boot out, keep it if it's in reasonable condition. This one's not, so I'm going to destroy it. That's what comes out. And now we'll just get the piston out. With this slide, the end of it's a 10mm bolt. It was a 10mm bolt. Now that I bashed it with the punch. Yeah, that just un unbolts. Like so. And you get a center bolt up the center of the slide here. Keep these if they're any good. Alright, now that's all that that's all apart. We can get the piston out. Because it's a single piston, the air trick I showed you last time works a little bit better, but you can actually get to it from the, um, the, the hole that bolts the line on. So you can probably just get something in there and push it. Comes out there like that. All right, so unlock the GUs. These GQs have a little C clip in here. I'll try and find it. There it is. Try and dig it out of the mud. That holds the ceiling. Keep that if it's in good nick. And then same as the other ones, pull the rubber seal out in there. And that's it, it's all apart. Clean everything up. We'll just wire wheel that. And the pins. Chuck it all back together. Alright, so it's all back together. Um, yeah, pistons in there. Obviously, it's got the C clip to hold the dust seal thing in. Um, yeah, it's a little bit tricky to get it back in. It takes a little bit of time to sort of peel the, the piston over the the rubber seal but 
once you get it over there, piston slides in. I put a bit of WD-40 up here and it slides down, no worries. So. But yeah, just making sure everything's greased up. The slide in here, grease everything up, slide in here, grease it all up, put the cap on the end. Um, yeah, pretty all, you know, once you pull it apart, you know how it goes back together. So just make sure everything's clean, greased up, wire wheel, everything. Um, the last thing I do is pull the bleed nipple out. I've got a drill here with a 1.5 mil drill bit and run the drill bit up here. And then in the end here. So that just cleans it all out. So that was actually blocked. So job done. And I've had a few people ask me about the second rear caliper bracket. So that's it there. Um, Scott from Chickerell Street Exhaust makes them. So if you want one, make sure you ring him. Um, and yeah, he makes them, designed them and whatever. So that's an easy solution. Just bolt, picks up four of the front axle flange bolts and an easy solution to getting a second caliper on the back. You just have to cut your axle down, which I was halfway through doing. Um, but yeah, it's all right to go back together. Um, I will actually grease up these because these are spare axles that I had. So I will get the grease needle and pump that full of grease to clean it all up. So yeah, while it's out, grease the wheel bearings again the best you can because the rear ones are a bit tricky. Um, but yeah, it's all good going back together. Um, I've actually got no left, I've, I had one left hand axle left um, and now I've got none. I've still got a couple spare right ones because they're different lengths. Um, but yeah, time to chuck it back together. All right, so finally we've got it all back together. Small mishap with the um, the airline and the bulkhead fitting on the diff, so I had to pull it back out, which nearly broke me. I was just about had enough by then. So anyway, it's together, just backing out of the shed. I thought I'd back it out so you can get the full full look at uh, how it all looks. Check this out. <laughs> Skid time. I think uh, there's some control arm bushes that are a bit worn out. So it gets the uh, jitters going, but um, there's probably a bit too much gravel. There is bitumen there, but a bit too much gravel over it. But anyway, a skid's a skid. Might not have been the best, but still a skid. Well, we wrapped up the afternoon. Not too much interesting stuff. Me and Jesse smashed out a few little jobs that is kind of just nothing, just boring to watch, but time consuming. So. Um, yeah, I did obviously put the traps back on the rear. Um, so the car is pretty much there. Uh, there is one small job that I've got to do uh, that might take a couple of hours. Um, but we did notice that the rear main started to leak. And last time when I went driving uh, with Sherry and when I tested out the traps, I didn't put any of it in the video or whatever, but um, I did manage to slip the clutch pretty bad. Uh, I obviously knew it was happening, but it happened pretty easy. So yeah, we'll sort of question in that whole drive whether we should pull the box out and put a new clutch in. And then um, for the rest of the drive, it seemed to be all right. 
uh, I was going pretty easy on it. Um, but yeah, now that we've seen the rear mains leaking, could potentially be why the clutch was slipping. Even when I'd done the skid, um, it was only first and second gear because it'd do third, no worries, but I tried it straight up before we got the camera out and yeah, just slipped the clutch straight away. So I'm very aware of when it slipped the clutch. So I don't always back off straight away, but anyway, that's what we're contemplating now. Um, I am, because it's Sunday night, tomorrow morning, first thing, I'm gonna ring up NPC in Queensland, I think they are, and see if they can send me down a clutch before the weekend. Uh, if that's the case, then we'll be bloody pulling the gearbox out. Uh, I've had enough of working on this thing, but it is what it is, so. Um, yeah, it could potentially be the box out, but new clutch and that, and, and uh, yeah, seeing the rear main leak like that, uh, I'll be happy to see, you know, fresh remain and a fresh clutch uh, so we can not have to worry about that when we're racing. But yeah, for the most part it's done. Um, I did do a bit of tinkering with the wagon, but again, I'm not gonna show you that. I'll show you that in a whole nother video because um, at the moment I'm going week for week at videos, but I need to sort of get ahead a little bit. So I'm two or three weeks ahead. Um, but anyway, it's about time we wrap this up. I'm going home. Uh, hopefully you learned something with the rear calipers. I know I'd already done the front, but the rears are a little bit different and um, yeah, some people might not even see in the front. So it's definitely worth doing, rebuild the calipers. The brakes work awesome. Um, but yeah, don't forget to drop a like as per usual. Um, yeah, even liking and comment videos helps, like I suppose content creators um, a lot, uh, puts the videos out there more and whatever. So just a simple like and a comment saying whatever. Um, yeah, it goes a very long way. So that's always appreciated. And if you are a new viewer, don't forget to subscribe uh, because yeah, the wild dog videos obviously be a few weeks later now that it's been postponed, but we should have a queen's birthday one up, couple queen's birthday, and then um, yeah, the, the wild dog one. So hopefully once the ball's rolling on that and then I'll get a chance to edit it all, uh, we'll have some pretty awesome videos coming up. So stay tuned for that and we'll see you then.